And it's also almost New Year's resolution time. So we want to help you get a jump start on yours. Yeah, one of the biggest resolutions we know every year is people wanting to get healthy mm -hmm. and lose weight. I know every year I say I'm going to eat cleaner, too. be healthy every year. But Maureen Kyle is here to help us out and show us some of the trends that could actually work for you. To know where to start to change your overall health, it's important to know what's changing health and wellness on a bigger scale. It's historically been a lot of the same, which is I want to lose weight, I want to get more fit. This past year, I've seen a lot, a lot of targeted diets. So instead of people just saying, I want to lose weight, you now have a bunch of people saying, you know, I want to support my immune system and focusing on diets that do that. Or I want to work on my brain health. Alexis Supan, the nutritional lead at Cleveland Clinic's Wellness Center, says she's also seeing diets centered around clearer skin, too. So let's put a name to these food habits to give you a better idea of what might work for you. The MIND diet is a really popular one that sort of um, blends together the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet, and it's focused a lot on brain health. That's catching a lot of steam. Intermittent fasting and keto are definitely here to stay in terms of tools to help with weight loss. Another big trend you might consider trying, seafood. Not only is it healthy, but Supan makes the point that it's not really affected by supply chain issues due to a lower demand for it, so it's more readily available. And that was Maureen Kyle reporting for us. When it comes to physical health, at-home workouts are popular now since COVID. Think Peloton, right? And if you need help with your fitness journey, apps like Noom help you track along the way. The clinic even offers an e-coaching program via email for people on the go.